Hey, hi, hello again everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is so great to be back here with you again. Now we're going to have a Witchfire packed week. The massive GGU update is here and it is wonderful. And this game is fantastic, and I am just so happy to have dove back in to this wicked and tremendous world that is Witchfire. A roguelite FPS of sorts that has us hunting demons and witches and all kinds of nastiness. So folks, we've got new guns, we've got new spells, and it's just really great. I'm having a blast. If you were with us last time, you know that we showed off one of the newer locations in the game, in the hub world, and that opened up an opportunity to build up some genosis or gnosis. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Somebody popped into the comments the other day, and I always appreciate this, and said, hey, Goat, you know what? I think it's Gnosis, and the G is silent. So, whichever you prefer, folks. Genosis, Gnosis. Uh, it is a new capability that we can have built up, and basically, uh, it allows us to see some things in these areas that we normally wouldn't be able to see. It also allows us to open up new items in the research area. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we did. Let's pick out which way we're going to go here. So I think we'll go down and around and we'll just sweep the whole area and show off some of the new stuff. So let's start with Ricochet, which look at that. Look at that reticle. Is that not the coolest thing? So this is a auto rifle. We're, we're showing off some rifles today. This is an auto rifle that allows you to pick out up to three targets and they're gonna be connected until you reload again. And once you have them picked out and they're linked together, the bullets you fire at one target will ricochet off onto the others that are linked up until you reload. Then that resets the link. All right, I am just going all sorts of the wrong way. Uh, so, see, this is what happens. The goat, not very good at navigating. Okay at which fire, not very good at navigating in video games, just from a general standpoint. So we've got to check and then recheck and check again, and, and that's okay. That's all right. We're just having a good time out here. What the hell did I step on? All right. Let's go ahead and spend a key while we're at it. And small risk. We'll grab that. No big deal. Okay. There's only one dude in the area at the moment. But soon enough here, we're going to link these guys up. Now, this gun happens to be at the first level Mysterium, and that's what opens up the bullet ricochet capability. Hey, all right, so see how these guys are linked now? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Huge, huge fan of that. And I think as we level it up, my guess is maybe we'll end up with more skulls on that reticle so we can link even more dudes up together. Or maybe some auto-linking would happen. Wouldn't that be nice? You know, for the lazy in us, right? Okay. So, we've got... All right, well, let, let's absorb this first. Stun bullets, really like that. Affecting enemies with an elemental magic refreshes all currently inflicted elemental status effects. I mean, that is quite good if you've got like a toxic build going. Um, or even perhaps the new spell that we're running with. But I like the stun bullets, so we're going to do that. Uh, and we are going to continue going up this way. But 
we will go ahead and grab some ammo real quick here to refresh on that because the ricochet of course being an auto rifle uh, it really chews up the ammo okay there should be a pile of ammo okay you know what it's up there all right that kind of foiled the plan that's all right that's all right we'll come around to it happy to see some angelica in the area i've been burning through the health elixir lately yeah we'll keep going up this way so we've got the ricochet we also have a rifle called Hypnosis, and this is also leveled up to the first Mysterium, and what it does so far, aside from being a nasty uh, rifle of sorts, is when you zoom in, that crystal charges and applies even more damage to the bullet. Pretty cool, right? So I'm in the process of building up both of these weapons, uh, of course, by doing many, many murders of demons. All right, you see, see that thing right over there? We don't have enough of the new Genosis Gnosis capability to see that. Uh, we are currently at level 2 with that capability, and that probably requires level 3. We still have the Ring of Excretia on. We are spitting out balls of poison nastiness on every dash. It's, it's, a, it's one of my favorite skills, I have to say. And I have kept our Grenadier as well. Alright, you know what? Seems like a perfect time to use this. It's gonna be great for big groups of revenants, you know? Like, that, that one calamity or the assassin calamity that fires off. Wow! I thought there were more in this area. Increased weapon damage when all spells are drained. Casting a lightning spell grants temporary aura that discharges lightning bolts at nearby enemies. I don't know if that relic we have is considered a lightning spell or casting. I'm assuming it's not. So we're going to go with this for now. Hey, guy. I'm loving the ricochet so far. Alright, we're gonna put our grenadier out there, and then we're gonna see if we can pop off some more ricochet action. Yeah, this is tremendous. Uh, let's talk about the new spell that we have opened up as well. Uh, this is the Ice Stiletto, also at the first Mysterium level. Still working to power all of these up to that second level at this point. All the new items that have been opened up. There we go. Pop that off and refill. Perfect. And the ice stiletto, of course, causes them to freeze. Uh, and with the opening of that first Mysterium, uh, when I get a critical hit with the stiletto, it takes off more damage and it doubles the amount of time that they stay frozen. Pretty cool. 
Alright. Oh man. You know, now I like the ice stiletto. I will say that sometimes I have a tough time connecting with the ice stiletto. It's like a good time to switch to the rifle. Oh, jeez. Alright. Destroy the Calamity Catalyst. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's pop that off. Or face the Calamity. I, th I think we're going to end up facing the Calamity, because I think that's the Catalyst right there. Come on, guy. There it is. Okay, hey, that works. Uh, what do we have to do here? Oh, we've got revenants this time. Enemy deaths caused by a decay's damage tick partially recharge decay spells. Well, we're going to go bonus elixir because... Yeah, we're going to go bonus elixir because I didn't bring in uh, my other favorite spell with the decay stuff. All right, you know we've got to switch to this. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a tremendous weapon on these guys. Look at that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pop off a potion here. Let's get our Grenadier back out there. I don't want to go up against all these guys at once. How many more do we need? Four. All right, we are really close. Oh, out of ammo, okay. All right. So we have three potions in hand. Let's grab this stuff. Good time to use the demonic weapon. Speaking of, I believe with this update, there is a new demonic weapon available. And so we'll be checking that out as well. We're just going to have a fun week of lots of Witchfire content. Diving in and trying to see as much as we can of this update because it's it's pretty beefy. Alright, what do we got here? One supply chest key. Let's do it. Gold has become a lot more important. Uh, some of the things that you can do in the hematorium now require gold where they didn't in the past. Uh, some of the different uh, pieces that you need to level up your gear uh, now cost gold and you can't just research them like you could before. Hmm. Taking a sip there. Cheers to you folks. I'm actually out here with uh, a new cup of coffee today. Very, very good. One of the bags that my daughter picked up for me. For Easter, actually. Oh man, that looks like ricochet action, right? We got 103 bullets. Man, that's so good for a crowd. Okay, we'll take it. They're building up power. Increased range of lightning bolts. Faster stamina regen. You know, I'm going to re-roll this. 
That didn't work out, did it? Uh, hmm. Let's let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Critical chain. Two critical hits in a row now conjure an extra bullet in the magazine. Love it. Love it. Okay. That was a good reroll. Let's see what we got going on here. I do want to knock out all the bosses. I guess they're not bosses, you know, fight zones. You know what I'm talking about. The encounters. Now, who do we got over here? Okay, I think that's a good use for this. Wonderful. Now, I was close to being able to upgrade the, the rifle. Death will not consume any witch fire. Well, that might be nice, right? We, we've built up a pretty penny, 47,000. And, you know, with gear that isn't fully leveled up, I don't know if we'll get the W or not against the boss if uh, we go up against him. So... It's, it's not a bad thing to have. Perfect. Thanks for just standing there and taking it, buddy. Really appreciate that. Oh, boy. Yeah, how about we just break your shield altogether, guy? We're going to switch to Ricochet here. Oh, out of ammo. We got two shots here. Let's see if we can get something going. There we go. All right, if they're going to have their Grenadiers out, then I'm, I'm getting mine too. That's how that's going to go. Looks like we've got a calamity of some kind on its way. I'm trying to let it charge up. Because that's one of the requirements to hit in order to level it up. Just gonna go ahead and melee that guy. Okay, what do we got here? Swordsman, ten of them. Okay. And, you know, we can't see anything also. Also, there's that. We can kind of see. It's nasty. I do think that the stiletto is a, a nice spell, uh, but I think for being a light spell, and, and maybe this is, maybe I'm off on saying this, but it, it does feel like it takes longer to recharge. Again, I, I could be wrong on that. That's the way it feels, though. Ah, damn. We still have no ammo for the ricochet? Ah, wow. Okay. No. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going great. Oh, God. I'm out of health. Alright. I am glad we took the, uh... Keep your witch fire deal. Upon death. You got any ammo? Y'all got any ammo? Uh-oh. Oh, man. 
man. What a time. What a time. And you know, here's the thing, folks. I'm like level 73 at this point with the level 2 Genosis Gnosis and they have managed to make this challenging. And I appreciate that so much about the game. Now let's see what we got here. We've got a new gun that's going to be coming into play. Hang fire. Another hand cannon. Fire slugs that detonate on command with a reload. Wow. That sounds cool. You know what else I'd love is a third weapon slot? Beyond the demonic weapon. Like just another slot for normal guns, because we've got so many good options now. Maybe that's something that opens up at some point. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Let's uh let's see what we got here for the second Mysteria. Increased damage is weighted towards the end of the time window. A shot perfectly timed at the end of it inflicts even more damage. Well, that's cool. That's cool. How are we doing on this one? Enemies killed, 41 of 75. So we knocked out the ricochet uh, component that we needed. But now we've just got to kill some additional enemies, and then we'll, we'll see what ricochet does. I may end up trading out hypnosis for something else. I don't know that it has been my favorite. I think it's cool, and I think some of you will find it to be very helpful, but I don't know that it's my favorite yet. And this one has been interesting, but I don't know that I like it better than my Blight Cyst. I, I really think that the Blight Cyst, out of all of them, is my favorite. And I know some of you out there really, really favor the Frost Cone. I like that as well. You know, quite honestly, I could find great things to say about all of them, but my favorite is the Blight Cyst still for now. Uh, I would love them to throw something at me that really gives me a, a, a challenge in saying, oh my god, what, what's my favorite now? But so far, it's probably still the Blight Cyst. Uh, let's see if we have anything other for now that we should start researching. So it looks like there's another close range weapon that could be open, and I do have the cache. And we talked about another demonic weapon as well. And then some kind of magical item that uh, has a high cost tied to it. And then here's what I was saying about the uh, Mysterium incantations now, which I believe you can find them in the world also, but you know, you used to be able to just hit the research button. Thankfully, I did that a lot, and I have a lot of them, so I don't have to worry about paying them uh, in this update. So. Let's start the research on the weapon. I definitely want to show those off over the week. And uh, that's where we're going to cut this one, folks. Uh, we will definitely continue exploring all the new things that there are to see. I am loving the update so far. Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, do me a favor. Hit that like button. It will help others see this video and give the game even more exposure. We, we want this to sell well. I mean, uh, they're doing excellent development work. And, you know, at some point it's going to come to consoles. I think it's going to be a smash hit there. It'll come to Steam eventually. I think it'll be a smash hit there. And, you know, I, I, I'm ready to cash in on DLC as well. I'd, I'd buy a season pass to this game. I, I really love what they do with this. So, um, yeah, do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you're new out here, uh, don't be new anymore. Hang out with us more often. Hit that subscribe button. And we've got an awesome community of folks here. Very supportive. And uh, yeah, we'll do this again sometime soon. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite. And uh, we'll give away a video game once a week. We can do that because of folks like you. Take care out there. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.